All right, I'm going to give a real quick and easy way we can implement XLOOKUP into Python. If you're not familiar with what XLOOKUP is, it's a formula in Microsoft Excel, uh, commonly used to uh, look up a value on a table. There's a bunch of different ways uh, it can be done. Uh, they have uh, VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, uh, also do index match, but XLOOKUP is the newest formula and it's supposed to be an all-in-one feature. Um, and so it's the one that's uh, most commonly used. And so if you ever watch a video on it, uh, you'll see something that looks like this. It's a real basic setup here. And what we're doing here is we're putting a number into this yellow cell and we're saying we want it to go over to the win margin column, find the value that we entered. And then once it finds it, go to the right and return the value uh, that matches that row from the count column. So you can see here I've set up XLOOKUP uh, to do just that. The first parameter, what's, where are we entering the value that we want it to look up? It's going to be that yellow cell. C3 to C14, what column do we want it to look for that value in? And then D3 to D14, uh, which um, column do we want it to return the number from? So in this situation, we've said 1. So it's going over to the win margin column finding one and then returning the count value of 675 there. Before I go into it, I also want to point out that there's a lot of different scenarios that you can use something like XLOOKUP and this scenario may not be the best way uh, for what you're specifically looking for. I did another video a while back um, similar talking about how to implement XLOOKUP. This is a little bit differently though because uh, in this situation what I was doing was I had two tables and I had XLOOKUP and I wanted to add an entire new column to one table where I was using XLOOKUP. So I was using um, the value in another column on that table and having it go over to a second table, look through that second table and return values. And so in this particular situation uh, where it's not basic, I found that the best way to do it was pd.merge. Um, so if this particular simple um, situation doesn't help you, you may want to check that out uh, and try to find uh, a way to do it. Alright, so here's a summary of the steps we're going to perform. It's going to be a three-step process. First, what we're going to do is we're going to set the column that we want to look in as the index column. So this would be the second parameter in XLOOKUP. Which one do we want it to look down through? Step two, we're going to use the dot lock function and we're going to give it two parameters. First parameter is going to match exactly what we would give the first parameter for XLOOKUP. It's going to be the specific value that we want it to look through. And then the second parameter is going to be uh, the column name that we want it to return from. So uh, in our situation, it's going to be the count column. And then step three, we can go ahead and reset the index to move the lookup column back to the data frame. So this reverses what we do in step one. You can do that if desired, or if you want to leave uh, the lookup column as the index, you can do that as well. All right, so we come over here to Python. Uh, you see I've got the three steps commented out here. Uh, we'll start, the name of our data frame is going to be just df. And so to start, we'll say df equals df dot set underscore index. And we'll give it the name of the column that we want it to look through. And so that's going to be the second parameter in XLOOKUP. If you look down here, you see we have a table. It looks the same as it was in Excel. Um, so we've got win margin column and we've got the count column. Uh, you'll also notice over here on the left a column with numbers with no title. This is the index column. And so what this is is it just numbers the rows from starting at zero and going up by one every time. So row 1 is going to be 0, row 2 is going to be 1. You'll notice here it skips 2. I don't know why. This is some issue with either Visual Studio Code or Python, but it does exist. Uh, if you print this again, you see I printed it again up here. It has 2 here, but it skips 4. So I don't know what's going on there, but it does exist. It would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 all the way down. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this win margin column that we want to look through, and we're just going to replace this index column over here with the win margin. That's what that's going to do. So we'll type in win underscore margin. We'll print the DF. 
hit F5 on the keyboard if you're using Visual Studio Code to uh, go ahead and print that up to the breakpoint. You'll just click right there to create a breakpoint. All right, and you can see now instead of having that numbered column in the index, we now have a win margin there. Second step is going to be using the dot lock function. Now I'm going to want to store the result. In this case, it's going to be 675. I want to store that into a variable, so I'm going to name it. Um, uh, uh, let's name it uh, number result. We're going to say df dot loc. We'll do square brackets. The first parameter we're going to give it is going to be the uh, number we want it to look up, so that's going to be one, and then the second one's going to be the column that we want to get the value from, so that's going to be count. If we print number results, we'll see should be 675. All right, so you can see I ran it down here. You can see the number result there is 675 at the bottom, so looking good there. Now we can change this around just like we did in the Excel file. So if we wanted to do three instead, we could change that first parameter to three. We'll run it again. And you can see it returned 358 down there, which matches what's on the third row there. And so the final step here, if we wanted to reset the index to return to where it was originally, we would say df equals df.reset underscore index and uh, we wouldn't put anything there we just leave, leave that blank and then we can print that and you can see that we're back to where we were originally with the win margin the count as the columns in the data frame and then we have an index going from zero up All right, so over here, I've got the Python code overlaid with the XLOOKUP in Excel. So you can see here, second parameter column name up there, first parameter right there, and the um, very first one of the dot lock function, and then column name of the third parameter and the second parameter of the dot lock function.